Hey Sugar Boo, it's 25 days of giveaways here on our channel. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel and you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload. So you can enter our 25 days of giveaways for the next 25 days. I mean, it's, it's self-explanatory. 25 days of giveaways, yes. Tis the season to be jolly, honey. Fa la 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 la. Hey Sugar Boo, welcome back to another tutorial here on my channel. We are doing another crochet wig with these gorgeous passion twists. And if you have been following my channel for a while, you already know that I am in love with crochet wigs. They are definitely my favorite protective style, a quick look that I can pull off in less than 10 minutes. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I created this one. And before we jump into the video, let me not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button down below and to hit the thumbs up. Share to all of your beautiful friends now comment down below any other looks you would love to see on our channel and to all of my returning subscribers how you doing bestie hope you are being safe and blessed as always let's go ahead and jump straight into it all right, so let's run through this supply list real quick. You are going to need a braid wig crochet cap. This is the one that I am using here. I purchased it through my Amazon storefront, which is a link down below. You can shop all of my hair accessory hair products and actual hair that I buy and use in all of my tutorials. We're going in with these 14 inch passion twists that I purchased off of Amazon. And they were for the low, low, the low, the very inexpensive, because y'all know I love beauty on a budget because I'm a frugal individual. You're also gonna need a canvas head. I like to use T-pins to pin down my crochet cap as I'm crocheting the hair. And just a little bit of method to my madness, a little bit of technique on how I make my crochet wigs. I start out by doing a perimeter around the entire perimeter of this cap. And I'm doing one row at a time. And then once I'm done with that entire row, I'm gonna go in with a second row. And that second row is gonna go slightly above that top, top row. And I'm gonna to show you that here in a minute so as you see we have our first row and now I'm going in between those two twists that are placed on that first row so that we have this nice cascade this nice fill-in of gaps when we pull the hair up you won't be able to see the cap and all that good stuff so again I'm showing you I'm going in between the two twists and I'm gonna do this with three rows so as you can see we have most of the cap filled up we pretty much just have the middle in the back that we have to fill in so I'm gonna start at the front of the wig next and I'm gonna fill in all of that right there until I get to that stitching in the middle of the head which is pretty much the crown of the cap. I'm gonna fill that all in, still going in with that same method. I'm crocheting in between the last row so that my twists fall into this like cascade kind of like layering method with these twists. And then we're gonna fill in and I'm gonna do this until I'm down to my very last pack, which is right here. I'm about to open up the last pack and we're gonna fill that all in. Now I know this probably looks like it's not going to fill in all of it, but trust me, you don't want it to be completely filled in on the center you want to concentrate mostly around the perimeter because we're wearing this in a ponytail bun or half up half down that is the finished look I'm now about to try it on so I can figure out some styles that I want to wear it as make sure it's fitted right if there's any gaps or anything I don't like I'll remove some twists and place them in different areas but I really did like how this turned out and I felt like the twists were juicy enough you know they had that nice like bounce to them that it really filled in the cap very well I'm gonna go in styling this with a simple headband wig. So for my individuals, my ladies who do not like using head wraps a lot, these can be versatile with headband wigs as well. Just make sure you're getting a headband wig that is thick enough to cover up your band. Don't get one of them skinny little cute ones. No, we need a fat juicy one that's gonna cover up everything that we need. And these are also linked in my store front as well. All 
all right bestie so this is the completed look i styled it in different ways in the beginning of the video just so you can see the versatility of this style all of my crochet wigs i always style in multiple ways so it's never a one and done type kind of look i also have a tutorial that is extended out more for you to show you the details and how i style my crochet wigs i really love the curliness of these passion twists at first um I didn't like that they were kind of, you know, they're not very uniformed in the, the twist. Like you can see it's very, a very loose twist. And at first I didn't really like that. I recently did a style using the spring twist and those have a nice like juicy twist to them, like a nice uniform twist. You don't have like this like kind of unraveled look with the passion twist. So I was a little skeptical about them at first, but I ended up falling in love with it after I completed the style. I did use all packs of hair that was sent to me. Okay, so the details on the hair, I purchased this hair off of Amazon. It came with eight packs of the Passion Twist. They are 14 inches long and I got it in the color number two. Number two is usually like a natural brown black for me. Um, number one is usually a little bit too dark and it can look very obviously unnatural on me. So I prefer number two when it comes to a natural black. For eight packs of hair at 14 inches, these were a little bit under $30 for before shipping and handling of course so very inexpensive look it also came with these decorative jewels to put on there but i never really use them because i just don't care for them but it's nice that they included those in there as well so guys let me know what y'all think about this crochet wig if you want to see a, another passion twist review i think i do want to try it in a little bit longer length instead of the 14 i think i probably want to try like a 20 or a 28 but we will see y'all on another one thank you guys for joining us on another video be blessed and be safe